that's not my intro. <laughs> Hi, this is Ghost, and I'm creating Zorua and Zoroark from Pokemon in The Sims 4. Now, this was actually suggested to me by commenter Ashlyn Dunstan. That's right, I put it in my notes so I wouldn't forget the name. And, uh, yeah, she really wanted me to make Zora or Zorark. Z Zorark and Z Zorua and Zoroark. <laughs> Those are very hard names to pronounce <laughs> together. And, uh, I actually thought about making Zora and Zoroark, and I'm actually surprised I haven't done it yet, because I have made Mightyana and Poochyana, I made Growlithe and Arcanine, I've made Rockruff and Lycanroc, both Lycanrocs. Uh, well, there's three Lycanrocs now, so I guess I gotta update that and make it the third one. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna do that. Uh, and I've made a ton of dog Pokemon, basically, and it's actually surprising that I haven't done Zora and Zorark yet, but I guess I'm here. Uh, here I am. I'm gonna do it today. So let's get into the build, get into the painting, whatever you like to call it. Let's get into it. <laughs>
already said hi. <laughs> Alright, so we are with... So I just finished building, or painting, however you prefer to call it, Zora and Zoro Arc. This is Zora. Now I know Zora is a bit big here, and I know most of you would probably prefer it if I made Zora a little puppy, but... You know, the puppies, you can't really do much uh, body-wise with them. They kind of all look mostly the same. They, they look like this uh, very short-haired uh, puppy. They look like a, a puppy. And uh, Zora looks more like a fluffy fox. So I decided to make it a small dog rather than a puppy of a small dog. If that makes uh, any sense. Or a puppy of a big dog. Or just a puppy in general. <laughs> and I actually like the look of my Zora here. Uh, I didn't know at first what to do with anything. I mean, uh, Zora and Zora Ark both are kind of uh, weird in their design. I mean, uh, they don't... They have fur that sticks out and places and you know in the sims 4 you can't really get that look like this uh this gray patch of fur here is supposed to be you know puffed out like kind of like an eevee's chest would be fluff a fluffy ring of fur and i can't really do that in the sims 4 sadly but i think i did well here with trying to copy the markings the feet are Correct. They are red and it's small. The body structure is all right. Looks like a Zora. You know, you know what you're looking at. The hair on the top of the head. I wish I could have done better with that, but uh, I really didn't know what to do with it. Because <laughs> if you look at Zora, they've got this gray and red little puff, a poof, a puff, a poof, tough. A thing of hair on their head. <laughs> and you can't make things stick up on a, on a dog's head. Unless they're a poodle. Then I guess you could. But I didn't really want to make Zora a poodle. Because Zora doesn't look anything like a poodle. Zora looks like a, a little fox. So I, I had the same problem that I had with Rock Ruff and Lichen Rock. In which uh, you can't really make the fur stick out. But... It, I mean, it does look like a Zora, and it, that's all I could ask for, I guess. Also, it's smiling, and it looks like it's smiling. It doesn't look like it's painted on from this far away, which I really like. So next up, we've got Zoro Arc, the evolution of Zora. And uh, Zoro Arc was, uh, oh gosh, Zoro Arc was difficult just just very difficult if you look at the the drawing version of this dog which i'm gonna put on screen right now go ahead do that future me you see the drawing version yeah it looks nothing like a normal dog <laughs> so it's kind of like lichen rocks in which they're like you know werewolves so of course zorark was gonna be a difficult uh dog for me to do, but that's alright, I like challenges, so I didn't know what to do with this dog's fur, as you could, as you saw while I was building the dog, or painting the dog, or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> as I was making the dog, I tried out a whole bunch of different fur patterns, fur shapes, and I kept doing that for a very long time, um, and I went with Poodle a lot of the times. Like, I, I would pick this poodle looking look. I'll, I'll show you. Where is the, uh, the fur? I believe it was, like, this one. Oh my gosh, that looks hilarious. It was, uh, it was like this one, I think. I kept going back to this because I was like, this looks like it could work. If I, if I made this, because, uh, because Zorark doesn't really have a tail. Zorark just has this big old bushy mane of hair <laughs> coming out of their head. And it kind of like... It's super long. And uh, so... 
It almost looks like Zora does have a tail. Zorark, I mean. Zorark has a tail, but it's not really a tail. It's just a ponytail. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's hair. It's just hair from the top of their head. But it's super long hair. And for whatever reason, it's actually got like a rubber band in it or something. <laughs> it's got a hair tie in its hair, basically. Which makes the, the bottom half of its hair look kind of like a tail. But it's not a tail, it's all just its hair from its head. So I thought, at first, that this might work because it, it sort of looks like the tail is super bushy. Like it could be a different uh, part of the dog and this... And it's actually got like hair on its head. But I eventually decided that I didn't want Zorark to look like a freaking poodle. <laughs> and I went with uh, this for choice instead. Which I think I think works a lot better for Zorark because uh, Zorark's definitely not a poodle. <laughs> so I tried to make Zorark look as much as a Zorark as possible, and it was very hard to do. But I think I managed to make it work. It looks like a Zorark. The hardest part was to get was getting this eye correct, and then when I got it correct. What does The Sims 4 do? It just blurs the the frickin the lines and makes it looks like look like a, a big old mess, which is fine. I kind of expected that. I mean, I shouldn't have even tried. <laughs> That's The Sims 4 for you. As soon as you do a magnificent work of art, it just blurs everything. <laughs> it just makes everything look like a big blurry mess, which is really sad. Look, I'll show you what I mean. It was like this, and like that, and like that, and like that. Except it was more detailed, like that. Oh, frick. That's not what I meant. It was something like that. But then after zooming in, zooming out, changing dogs, going to this dog, going back to this dog, you know, it turns into just a mess. You can't really see the, the lines anymore. I can't control Z now, so it's, it's stuck there. <laughs> but that's not what Zorark's eyes, eyes look like. Uh, anyway, besides my, uh, besides the eyes, I think I did pretty well. I think I did well for what I could do on The Sims 4. Uh, if you look at Zorark, Zorark's got, like, this really skinny neck and skinny arms, except the skinny, they're, they're like twig arms, but then they extend into big fluffy arms with claws on him. And that was kind of hard for me to do because you know, it's impossible to change the fur shape into what you want. Uh, it's, Zorak's also got this big uh, like tuff of fur around their chest. So, you know, I tried to emulate that. It was not easy. <laughs> This, I, l I really like the hair that goes down into the tail. And the tail is still part of that hair, even though it's actually a tail. I really like this part of the, of the dog. I think I did well on that, like, better than I expected. I thought it was going to be terrible, but I think I did pretty well. There's also this line here, which separates the legs from the rest of the body. And that's just part of the cartoon that I thought I would put on the dog, but I'm not sure if that was a good idea or a bad idea. <laughs> but it is kind of a defining feature, one of Zorark's many defining features, so I, I left it there. I also gave it red claws, if you can see down there, because Zorark has red claws. Now Zorark only has three red claws on each paw, but uh, you know, you can't just chop off one of these dogs. You can't just chop off a dog's toe. So, Zorark's got five. I mean, four. I can't count. <laughs> four red toe, red claws on each toe. Well, wait, no. A claw on each toe, which adds up to four claws per foot. <laughs> when it should only be three. So that's, uh, there's a few inaccuracies here, but... As for The Sims 4, as far as The Sims 4 goes, I think I did pretty well on making Zorark. And I hope you guys 
enjoyed this video watching me make Zora and Zorark. Hope you guys like the dogs. If you would like to download the dogs, then hold up while I pull up this gallery. <laughs> then you can go to Just a Cat 78 where you see I make I make dogs and cats mostly. These are just favorites. Ignore all that. <laughs> but if I go to my gallery, if it ever loads, you can see I, I made an ugly house. Oh, okay. There we go. You can see that I make houses which aren't always great. I mean, sometimes they, they turn out amazing, but that castle's not really well decorated. But it looks cool from the outside. <laughs> or, you know, they're well decorated inside, but not really well decorated outside, like this house. I don't know. I can never get a good... I can never make a house that's decorated both on the inside and the outside perfectly. It's either one or the other. Either I make a really cool looking house with a weird interior design choices or I make a really weird looking house with great interior design choices. <laughs> I never get a house that's both. But uh, that's not really the main focus of my gallery. Most of the time I just submit cats and dogs that are based off of cartoon characters, video game characters, uh, superheroes, just anything. So if you guys like dogs and cats that, you know, look like cartoons or video game characters, then my gallery is the gallery for you. <laughs> yeah, you can get the, the whole Avengers crew here. Wait, actually, I don't have Thor yet. I gotta make Thor. <laughs> I gotta make Thor. But if you like Pokemon, if you like Animal Crossing, if you like Teen Titans, or anything from Marvel, <laughs> then go to my gallery, give it a look. You might find something you like. And if you look through and you don't find what you like, then you can always suggest it to me uh, in the comments below. And I may make a video based on your idea, whatever it is doesn't matter what it is. If I don't know what it is, then I'll just look it up. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Whenever that is. <laughs> Bye.